Hurry, the platypus! Over here! Hurry, hurry, it's, the show's about to start! Go! Take that! And that! <gasps> Barry the platypus! I, uh, I, uh... uh... There's no one else here. I mean, wh what are you doing here, Perry the Platypus? I, I, I wouldn't go in there if I were you. <laughs> Perry the Platypus, I swear I've never seen this uh, secret agent looking panda before. <laughs> well, there's a panda in my closet and a panda paw print on my cheek. B but it's not what you think. We're not enemies. We're, uh, we're just bad friends. Sorry, Perry the Platypus. I didn't want you to find out this way. Okay, here it is. Peter the Panda is my new nemesis. We met at an evil genius expo in Seattle and, well, me and Peter, we just instantly disliked each other and then... He foiled a little evil scheme of mine. It, I didn't plan it that way. It just happened. It's not that I don't hate you anymore. I do, but look, I, I just think it's time for us to, you know, take a break and start fighting other people. Thank you, Peter the Panda. I'd offer you one, Perry the Platypus, but I, I think it's better if we just have a clean break, don't you? So... Where was I? Oh, yes! So, Peter the Panda, you think you have outwitted me! Perry the Platypus, you're, you're making this harder than it needs to be. Go on, it's over now. Oh, that? That's a Freezinator ray, but I, I don't want to explain it again. I just gave the whole spiel to Peter, but don't worry. He's stopping me. He's, he's got it well in hand. Goodbye. Curse you, Peter the Panda! I spent it's all my time all keeping time you from doing, from doing wrong. wrong. But now, now you're I'm doing, doing battle, battle with, with a panda, panda from Seattle. Seattle. To me. I, miss I miss the, the moments when we, we didn't, didn't get along. So search your heart, please, Dr. D, and I am sure that you will see that you were always meant to be my only lifelong enemy. You were my only nemesis, I'd for your plans, but still I miss the moments when we didn't get along. I fell for you the moment that you that you pushed, pushed me down and then I fell. You captured me, captured me and held me for me so long. I gave your my life to your own cause, cause back when back my when only, your mission only mission was, was the moments when the moments we didn't that we get didn't along. get along. Easy, you're tearing it! I, I... Oh, I remember when this picture was taken. It was the happiest day of my life. It was the day I decided to get my picture taken. But it wasn't until I got outside the photo store that my life changed forever. I had a nemesis! And that was how I first met Perry the Platypus. So, how did you and that fussy old guy meet? It was a long time ago, in the future. That's how Cavendish and I became partners. Wow, my story was totally better. It's not a contest. No, no, I mean, but, but if it was, you know, <laughs> winner! I had a feeling that there was someone hiding behind the mailbox. I had a nemesis! My way, yeah, there's someone to oppose. And I feel fine, cause besides his hat, he wears no clothes. Now I hate him, and he hates me. What a wonderful animosity. Yes, I have a nemesis. My nemesis. My nemesis. Ooh, my nemesis. I forgot what comes after the bridge. <gasps> Peter the Panda, what are you doing? You're disassembling my Freezinator Ray? Well, well, I'm singing about my feelings? You, you're dead to me! You're dead to me! <laughs> 
today on Dr. Feel Better, I want to be your nemesis again. And now, Dr. Feel Better! Dr. Doofenshmirtz, tell Perry the platypus how you feel. Perry the platypus, I, I'm so sorry I hurt you when I wasn't actually trying to hurt you. If you give me another chance, I promise to hurt you in the right way, with cartoonish physical violence and elaborate traps constructed out of strange things I've purchased over the internet. What do you say? Oh, that is sweet. Well, what do you say, Perry the Platypus? Oh, oh thank you, Perry the Platypus. <sighs> Seriously, though, what's with the kidnapping? And why do you have an obsessive shrine to Peter the Panda? Because I am Peter the Panda's nemesis. <gasps> You're surprised? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, come on, if I knew he had a nemesis. I, I would never want to be the other evil scientist. Wait, don't. Oh, no, don't tell me that you've never even given him a backstory. Well, there's your problem. There's your problem right there. What? Lack of communication. Give me a beat. You don't have to be so vague. so vague Give your nemesis some history All the reasons you're a rotten egg It's not enough just to show him your device You got to tell him what it does I think you'll be surprised at his attention span He's the only one who's gonna understand You gotta tell him all of your evil plans Because you've got to talk to him Tell him every twisted scheme that's in your head Talk to him you got to give him some specifics he can dread. Talk to him. Don't just stand there like a rock. He's got two furry ears, so use them. I know you really want to bruise him, but I think you're gonna lose him if you don't talk. Communication is the key. If you just open up, you'll see. Maybe he'll stop boarding me if you just talk. How did you get Cora's girls in here? Hey, Union, they'll travel. You're the last person I'm going to take advice from, you nemesis stealer. Even with musical accompaniment, you just don't get it. Ugh. I'm gonna have to spell it out for you. It's not my fault that you and Peter are having problems. It's yours. Peter the Panda! Wow, I never thought I'd be so glad to see my nemesis. Peter the Panda is not your nemesis. Ah, you're right. He's not even my nemesis. He's, he's more of a thwarty call. Don't you diminish him like that. Ooh, ugh. See? He's thwarting me. You mean nothing to him, Doofenshmirtz. Mm. Yes, yes. Uh. You see, this is good, isn't it? What did he give you that I couldn't give you? An evil monologue, for one thing. What? Communication! Oh, for crying out loud, at least tell him what your innator does. Huh? Oh, yes. It's an unexistinator. What? Well, well, now I'm worried. See? Communication works. <laughs> So my own parents accidentally created a black hole and became obsessed with containing it, eventually firing themselves into orbit for fear that they would jeopardize the planet. But they abandoned me in the process. That is what motivated me to become evil in the first place and eventually build my unexistinate, which you destroyed tonight. Wow, it really feels great to tell someone all this. Son! Mom, Dad, you're back! Aww. I want you guys to meet my nemesis, Peter the Panda. You have a nemesis? A boy's all grown up! Why is he a panda bear? Bernie! What? I was just wondering. Come on, Perry the Platypus, let's go home. I talked to you enough, right? Yeah, you're right. Maybe too much. <laughs> Perry the Platypus, how long have you been? And look at that, it's it's Peter the Panda, my ex-nemesis. What a coincidence, huh? I mean, what is he doing here in Seattle, his home town? <clears throat> and look, he's got the he's got two coffees, one of which for sure is not for me. It's not mine because mine's right here. Look, see? Oh, Perry the Platypus, I'm sorry there's nothing to foil. I'm I'm still down about <gasps> Baloney! Wait, what am I worried about? You'll never guess my super secret password. Do Felicious. Access grant. Okay, that's enough. System overload. <sighs> oh! What are you doing? Cut it out, Penny the Platypus, no grabbies! 
Oh, what the? How did you get out of my trap? Your hot dog is no match for my bratwurst. That's it, Henrietta's chairlift. Oh, yeah. Hey, you can sit here, Perry the Platypus. Oh, I see that. That's not fair. I can't make up my mind. Perry the Platypus, why? Well, I, I did not see that coming. Then you escape and then... We mixed it up a little. Your eyes say no, but your hands say yes. <sighs> I just felt a disturbance in the cup stacking universe. My autographed picture of Vance Ward. Oh, you've perverted my ugly invention with something beautiful. So who do they erect a statue of right next door? Rutherford B. Hayes, our 19th president. Only the president with the best facial hair of all. Just look at that thing. There's no beard like 19th century beard, Perry the Platypus. You've heard of a man's man? Well, this is an innator's innator. Morning, Agent P. We've recently found surveillance footage of Doofenshmirtz buying fresh produce. We've concluded there are two possibilities. Either he's up to something sinister that is food-related, or he's cooking dinner because he's got a beautiful woman coming over and he wants to... Never mind, it's obviously the first thing. And, and girls. I used to be terrified of girls, but I sort of got over that. And now it's just, you know, like sort of a mild anxiety, so... There's too many mommies! Do something! To the basement! <laughs> Quit it, Fresh! We received a weird message from Dr. Doofenshmirtz this morning. And it's scented. No bank nights. One of the better perfumes to come out of South Dakota. When an evil scientist sends fragrant letters, wrongdoing can't be far behind. Dismissed, Agent P. Carl, let me uh, smell that letter again, would you? Let's talk about what you've been up to, Perry the Platypus. You've been sneaking into my lair secretly and building anathors in the middle of the night. Uh, Oh, oh, don't act all so innocent. Every morning when I wake up, there's a new anathor. Look, see, three of them. Re really? You, you didn't do it? If it wasn't you, then who was it? I mean, you and I are the only ones who were ever here, which is sad in and of itself. But, but I'm not building them in my sleep. <gasps> Wait, that's it. I'm sleep inventing. That's fabulous. Oh, do French Mercy will incorporate it. All right, it's tidy, let me lose. My decorations are almost done. <laughs> Fugitive, semi-aquatic special forces amateur stage magician, framed for a crime he didn't commit. The 1865 assassination of Abraham Lincoln joins forces with a rogue trillionaire inventor extreme fighting champion from the future. Together with the aid of Rick, their super crime fighting high tech talking rickshaw, they'll bring hope, justice, and varying degrees of aquaticness to a tri-state area in peril. Together, they are... Doof and Paws! On second thought, I love it! You may have tied me up next to this, what is this, a beaver or something, and, and, and pitched me a TV series against my will, not to mention holding up the autograph line, but my advanced TV executive instincts tell me your show is going to be a big hit. Yes! I'm going to have my own show on television! <laughs> it's actually happening! I am going to rule the Tri-State area! Just a thought, though. Can we give the platypus a girlfriend? What? Never! Oh, suddenly you know my characters better than me? Forget it. I'm no sellout. I just crassly calculated commercial appeal in a mad quest for financial gain. No, no. My, my artistic integrity and I are out. Peace! Hey, I'm Dan. And I'm Swampy. We're the co-creators of Phineas and Ferb. A show that you're probably watching right now. Hopefully. This one's, for, for instance, from, from Becky. This is a question we get all the time. Are we ever going to see Perry the Platypus get a girlfriend? No. no. No, not gonna happen. No. Four Men and the Platypus is filmed in front of a live studio audience. But I digress. Harry the Platypus, it's no use trying to break through my protective bubble. It's platyproof poof. I mean, well, you know what I mean. Oh, where is Perry the Platypus? He should have been here hours ago. Oh, Perry the Platypus. Well, you know, I had a trap for you, but no time. This one's a little complicated, okay? No, no, Perry the Platypus. So you put that down right now. Ow! Ow! That's not! Ow! 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 That's right. Run away, Barry the Platypus! I have proof! The 
2007 Love Muffin Pudding Review. And I was crowned King Pretty Pretty Princess. Which, now that I think of it as a contradiction in terms, but it was the first time I ever won anything! We now return to... Doof and Puss! No, wait! We can dazzle! We can! I will now saw the amazing platadini in half. See? See? Platypuses. They like butter. It appears that Doofenshmirtz has made some rather unusual purchases. Chicken wire, three metric tons of baking soda, and later hosen. You know those leather bib front shorts that make you look like a walking cuckoo clock? Man, he is one sick puppy. Oh, Barry the Platypus, welcome to my truck of doom. I suppose you're wondering why I'm wearing later hosen. What? I've got the legs for it. Eh? 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 Anyway, it will all become clear soon enough. Thanks for pulling me out of the water, Perry the Platypus, but this shirt's a little snug. Are you sure you don't have anything bigger? Nothing? Now, to your station, Perry the Butler. Get ready, boys. When this baby powers up, it's gonna get hot in here. <laughs> Perry the Platypus, you, you didn't buy any chance. Hand it over. That belongs to me. Give it, give it, give it, give it, and whoa! Ah! Ah! Yeah! 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 This is what I call fly fishing! <laughs> yes! Yes! Attaboy! Woohoo! Okay, make a wish. What did you wish for? That's what you wished for? Eating cereal looks like this! Ah, oh, Perry the Platypus, you're early! And I'm in my underwear. Oh, this is so embarrassing. And it's it's the pair of underwear you never want anyone to see you in, too. You know the ones. You find yourself mysteriously putting them in the hamper rather than the garbage. Why, why do you do that? Hey, where are you going, Perry the Platypus? Oh, so when you came in, despite appearances, I was trying to come up with a perfect evil plan to thwart today's tri-state area summit and weenie roast, and you just gave me a great idea. Thank you, Perry the Platypus. Thank you very much. That should do it. Excellent. Perry the Platypus? Oh, sorry you had to see that. It's just that this one button. Oh, well, live and learn. For your information, I had these way before I met you. Okay, see you tomorrow. Oh. Ah, Perry the Platypus. Well, I guess it serves me right for bringing work on vacation with me. And there it is. Man, are we in a rut. Anyway, this is my dodo bird incubator, you know, innator. My new nemesis toy! Go run my bubble bath while I open it. I wonder which one it is! Oh, not another platypus. I was hoping for something more like Manny the Mongoose or something. Well, let's see if it lays eggs. <laughs> Perry the platypus! Oh, can you lay eggs? Oh, I hope not. Ignore him. If, if you were going to go rogue, where would you go? Hey, maybe you know him. I, it's not that I think platypuses all know each other or anything. It's just that I thought that maybe he might, you know, run in the same crowd or something. I'm asking you, man to monitor him. Can you help me? See, even my trap design has become lackluster. Okay, I think I've gleaned from your expression that you are now going to lead me through a series of bizarre and seemingly unrelated exercises that will help me get my groove back. Does that about sum it up? Good, let's do this thing! I'm scared. Maybe we could drop by Niagara Falls. It's so close by, and I, I've always wanted to see it. Well, I suppose we could swing by on our way back.
<sighs> well, that could have gone better. Why do I even bother, huh? At least there's one relationship in my life that's worked out pretty well. Thanks for coming along, Perry the Platypus. Let's go home. You are my rock. And by that I mean you're there for me. You're not made out of rock. You're actually made out of, well, platypus, probably. My Perry the Platypus! Oh, before I forget, I got you a little lair warming gift. <laughs> you fell for the old spring-loaded cable trap hidden in a ring box trick. What, that, that that's a thing? Obviously. Ooh, now's my chance! Peace out, Barry the Platypus. Wow! So that's what the inside of a platypus smells like. This... Uh, Barry the Platypus? But how did you... <gasps> you ate your own hiney? Hey, what's that? That better not be a do not disturb sign. <laughs> Barry the Platypus, what are you doing here? Did you get my med... Oh, is that chicken soup? What? Oh, that I, I planned to do evil today, but look at me. I, I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh man, 103, seriously. If I was a hot tub, people would be getting out of me. They'd be all like, wow, Heinz Doofenshmirtz is way too hot. We should get out of him. Anyway, since you're here, I, I taped my rehearsal. I'll just play it for you. Th that'll be just as good. I shot this yesterday. I was feeling considerably better then. Okay, everybody, get in me and we'll go. Are you sure you want to bring him? Barry the Platypus? Well, yes, of course, he's my nemesis. I have to show him everything. 30, 29. Uh, bow chicka bow wow. That's what my baby says. Mow, 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 and a something, something. Uh, Barry the Platypus, you know, you could have waited till I put my pants on. That would have at least been polite. And do you know what we do to rude people around here? We put them in a water-soluble capsule. <laughs> And there's not enough platypus spit in the world to get you out of it. Here, hop this way. Let me show you what I've been up to. <laughs> How do you like it, huh? Yeah. Thwart me, Perry the Platypus. Okay, now to relax and keep my heart rate slow and steady, you know, because too much excitement would cause my heart to beat too fast and short out the dumpuminator. Change time! Change time! <laughs> Look at you! You're just the bottom! Oh, it's on now! Look at me, I'm just the top! Ugh, so hard to get good health these days, even when you ride them like a bicycle. Oh, Agent P, what have you been up to? 25 minutes earlier. Very good, Perry the Butler. Man, you really kicked this party up to an 11. Perry the Platypus, what's gotten into you? Uh, very clever. You wrote a note to yourself in the future. I would not have predicted that. But who is speaking nicely of me? Wait, was it you, Perry the Platypus? In your letters, you said your nemesis was a suave, semi-aquatic personification of unstoppable dynamic fury. He is! No, you've just got to see him in action. Here, here I'll let him go. Go ahead, Perry the Platypus. Thwart my plans. Come on, let me have it. What the way, big guy? My friends have a pet platypus. Is he fierce, cunning, and good with a grappling hook? Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, okay, much better. This is a good look for you. I bet you're wondering where my anator is, right? Come on, yes. Yes, no? No? You're not gonna play? All right, all right, fine. Don't play. Curse you, Barry the Platypus. You know those? Those really work for you. It's portable, too. Ooh, you look so elegant, like you're going to a cotillion. You know, Barry the Platypus, that dress sort of suits you if, you know, you just accentuate the positive, as they say. Um, I'm going to stop talking now. I'm moving into a weird... Hey, buddy, watch where you're... Say, you look fabulous. 
Haven't I seen you somewhere before? No need to get huffy, you ran into me! The back door looks good, and the platypus outside my window looks good, and... The platypus outside my... Oh, oh. It's about time, Perry the platypus. I was beginning to think you'd found another evil scientist to fight. Oh, what a little angel! I'll just have to tell you my evil plan subliminally, like... Like when people listen to foreign language CDs in their sleep. Down we go, Perry the Sleepapus. And away we go! All right, put up your dukes! Wait, wait, what are you doing? Hey, this place is nicer than my first apartment! Ah, look how cute you are, all snug in your cozy widow twap. <laughs> oh, well, he's a cute little fella. Hi there. No, Perry, no. We do not fight the elderly. Again? Ow. Look at Perry and his little arms. Aren't they adorable? You're right. Let's make more. <laughs> oh, look, a little arm that can move around on its own. Ah, uh, distract him for me. Yeah, I'll give him a licking they'll never forget. Good one. Thanks. <laughs> that tickles. Quit it. Oh, you guys are so annoying! You're kind of cute, though! Ah, get off! Oh, look, they were under your cute little platypus foot the whole time! <laughs> oh, the corner of her picture! Give it a turn! With your little platypus hands there. What do you say, Pear the Platypus? You like being a guinea pig? Actually, you look kind of cute as a guinea pig. I mean, I wonder if you'd be teal. I bet you would. I bet you'd be a cute little teal guinea pig. Something to think about for the future. Oh, what about him? <gasps> He's perfect. Oh, yes. Coochie, coochie, go. You are Dr. D's precious little puppy, aren't you? Sir, I'm not even sure if that's a dog. Oh, don't try to wheel and deal with me. I get a big alimony check every month, so money's no object. Oh, well, in that case, it's $10,000. You, Gucci Gucci, you are my little Gucci Gucci. You are my ticket into the Danville Dog Show. And together, we will make them pay for all I have suffered. You, you remember that story, right? My neighbor, Kenny? I, I don't have to go through. Oh, okay. So, to recap, my entire fragile self-esteem is totally dependent on your performance today at the dog show. But, you, you know, no pressure. <laughs> Perry the platypus? Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm very embarrassed about all that Gucci Gucci goo stuff. Wait, wait! Over here, Perry the platypus. I'm just having a little lunch. Why don't you pull up a chair and join me? What do you think? Pretty clever, right? It's my new high chair trap. I thought of a high chair, because you're just a little guy, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're just a little guy. You're not getting out of this, so why don't you enjoy the food? It's all you can eat, you know. You're good? Why? Who is the enemy of the platypuses? Okay, I've already got the chicken wire. Let's see. Oh, here. You you take the list and cross things off as we go. Should we get something for later? Like, a, like one of those big pickles or a three-bean salad? <laughs> that was awkward. Better the platypus, thanks for your help. I usually hate shopping, but you know, you make it fun. So, Barry the platypus. Oh, I bet you're wondering why I'm sitting down here at the bottom of a lake. Well, the answer is simple. Mm. Mm. This is really good, man. You want some? Here, here, take the blue cheese. Do you mind? I, I prefer the ranch. Take the blue cheese. Here's the napkin. Anyway, the answer to why I'm here is simple. Zinc. <laughs> I'm going to go get a glass of water. You want one, Perry the Platypus? Ah, that's much better. I was parched. How about you? We should do this more often. This was nice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to jetpack over to my neighbor's balcony and see what's going on with those plants. Right after I change my pants. Phew, this whole evenly matched thing is exhausting. How about we take a short break? Do you ever get tired of lugging this big tail around? I mean, sure, it's great for fighting, but it's kind of weird for sitting and stuff. I just figured I'd ask you, because, you know, you would know. A, a sugar or agave syrup? Here, 
I don't know if this is fur or really tiny feathers. I can't tell. It's so warm, but it breathes. Well, back at it, I guess. Fight, fight, there's a cloud of puss, fight! It's a practice, it's a free, it's a... You've heard of a ship in a bottle? Well, you're a Perry the Platypus in a bottle! Anyway, today is the day I become the supreme leader of Love Muffin! You remember Love Muffin? The League of Villainous Evildoers, Maniacally blah, 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 whatever? Huh? Remember that? Well, we gotta get moving. Maybe we'll get some hot dogs or something on the way. You like hot dogs, right? <laughs> Oh, hello, Perry the Platypus. I'm sure you're getting this. I I was hoping you would stop by today for some tea. See, I've got all these little tea things set out and ready. And um, and uh, please use the front entrance, Perry the Platypus, because uh, because uh, all the other entrances don't work today. So, bye-bye. I'll see you later today. Coming in through the front entrance. This is nice, huh? <laughs> The platypus, you scared the dunkle stump out of me. Don't you know it's rude to bust in on someone's new home unannounced when a housewarming gift? Oh, how thoughtful. How thoughtful, thank you. Look, Perry the Platypus, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm not really up to anything terribly nasty today. So you're you're welcome to chill out here for the day. It's nice, huh? Huh? What do you think? If you need, I'll I'll even sign something that says I was up to no good. Suri ah, this is nice, huh? But you know, I, I don't think suburban life is for me. I'm thinking of just adding a breakfast nook and flipping the property. I'm not gonna tell you why the owl. Uh, you know, I don't have the energy for this. It's still early, do you wanna go grab some lunch? Come on, I skipped breakfast this morning. You like eggs? Can you believe the service in this place, Barry the Platypus? Here you go, all framed. Hey, I think you're... <laughs> See, this isn't me. This is just the superhumanly attractive male model that came with the frame. I mean, really, look at this guy, right? That's funny. He's wearing a lab coat, just like me. I don't know what everyone's so gripey about. Perry the Platypus and I are having a grand old time playing Go Fish with hot sauce packets. So, yeah, got any hot sauce packets? Yes, yes, I do have a hot sauce packet. There you go. I deal you guys in, but we only have the one hot sauce packet. Lovely tiramisu. Hey, it works! Oh, you think you're very funny, Perry the Platypus, blasting me with my own bring out the dessertinator. Oh, I hope you left some room. I made a yummy double layer pumpkin cheesecake. It has creamy. Ah, oh, you got me again. Well, you made me bring it to you, so you're gonna eat it. Ow! <laughs> Now it's your turn to bring out the... Yeah. How about a banana split? <laughs> Finally got your just desserts. Good one, right? <laughs> what are you doing with that pound cake? I was saving that for company. Oh, oh wow, Perry the Platypus. I'm getting such a sugar rush. How about you? <laughs> Yeah. Can you do this, Perry the Platypus? Can you jump really fast up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down? Yeah, that's it, Perry the Platypus. Doesn't it feel good? Let's be jumping buddies. Let's just eat dessert and jump up and down and up and down and up and down all day. It'll be our thing. Just remember, I, I invented it because I'm the inventor. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, 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 sugar crash. Oh, to bring out the dessertinator. It must be almost time for Roger's dinner party to begin. Ha <laughs> ha, sugar crash! No, I didn't eat that! No! Okay, but, 
but let's do that jumping thing again sometime, huh? You know, that just doesn't roll off the tongue the way Perry the Platypus does. Perry the Platypus. Perry the Platypus. Perry the Platypus. Ah, uh, Perry the Platypus. How unexpected for you to burst in on my nefarious... Nefarious... No, that's, that's too much even for me. Perry the Platypus is due any second. Hey, it's getting a little late. Where is he? I wonder if Perry the Platypus practices with a fake me. It would be nice to know he cares enough. <laughs> Isn't it genius, Bobblehead Perry the Platypus? Bobblehead Perry the Platypus! Oh, yes, oh, you agree? You know, I miss our little talks, don't you? Ah, what do you know, anyway? <laughs> Perry the Platypus! Perry! What? That's an, it's an arts and crafts project. I've got a life outside of you. Perry the Platypus, how did you escape? What's that? Oh! Oh, I guess I walked into that one. Aw, oh, man, I worked all weekend on that! Oh, look, this steamboat makes a perfect little chimney. I hope Perry the Platypus appreciates all this hard work. He won't. I know. You know what, Perry the Platypus? I think it's time for you to go. That's right, go on. Your services are no longer required. The lighthouse is gone, and there's nothing you can do about it. So you might as well run back to Major Monogram and tell him you lost this one. Help me! I give you... Cavendish's head! On a platypus body. Whoa! But wait, but why... Why a platypus body? Ah. You know how long it would take to clone an entire adult human Cavendish? We would have been here all afternoon. This was just easier. But why a platypus body? I already had the platypus DNA. Very the platypus, but you are too late. Wait! Wait, don't do that! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it, I told you! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! I said keep your hands off of that! Pierre! <laughs> Did anyone look? <laughs> I picture like half the people down there looking around like, who called you my name? <laughs> who is it? Oh, Perry the Platypus, come on up. <laughs> I've become my mother. Perry the Platypus! So what am I doing out here? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> I can make you do anything! <gasps> oh? Oh? Eat that gum off the sidewalk. Oh, gross! You're really going to do it, Perry the Platypus? That's so unsanitary. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to do that? Oh, oh, it looks so horrible. I can't look. I can't look. Stop. Stop, Perry the Platypus. Stop. <laughs> oh, man, that was great. Now put it back down and do it again. Oh. It's my dad. Yes, Dad? Perry the Platypus almost ate gum off the sidewalk! Activate Bug Eyebot. <laughs> yes, my little robot eye. Find Perry's address for me. That's right, Eyebot, towards the front door so I can see the number. <laughs> it will be so delicious to know where Perry lives. Come on! Oh, hey, random pounding works! Oh, good, we're back on the Perry show. All right, Perry the Platypus, could you just do me a salad and hold this thing up to the street address in front of... Ha! Perry the Platypus, there's my guy. Why the Thanksgiving-themed trap, you may ask? You know how you get all tired and lethargic after you eat Thanksgiving dinner? Well, it's not because you're really full and, you know, slightly out of shape, but because of all the tryptophan in the turkey. Now imagine if the turkey were, say, the size of a car or a building. There would be no resisting the tryptophaniacal level of nature's little sleeping potion. That is why I created the Turkeyinator! Wait, can you, can you see it from that little door? Do I have to move the hat? Or, you're good? You're good. I think you're a little, uh, what is that, a dachshund? Platypus. Looks like he doesn't want to be in that cage. Oh, him not. No, he likes it. Now that you're all comfy cozy, I can introduce you to my rainy mator. Ah, Perry the Platypus, won't you join me for a picnic? 
Ah, ah, did you see your face? You were like, oh, maybe I shouldn't, but then, well, I am hungry, and then, boom, down you went! <laughs> oh, don't be cranky, Perry the Platypus, you can have a minty wink eggnog, too. <laughs> I got you. So my first gig is in an hour. Come on, you can help me hand out flyers. A bird in the bush, I don't know. Ha, ah, you like that? It's a gift. Foam me to you, get it? As much as I like our little visits, you didn't need to come over. Surprise, Betty the Platypus! <laughs> okay, enjoy your trip! <laughs> oh, oh, the look on his face, that was priceless. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, here he comes back again. All right, try not to laugh. Okay, serious. <laughs> did you enjoy the other floor? Wait, Perry? Perry the platypus. Where did he go? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. Perry the Platypus, are you feeling tired? Take a rest. I figured you'd be exhausted after breaking down all those doors. I even put a, a mint on your pillow and everything, though I guess it's probably just stuck to the back of your head now. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, let's talk about pretzels. You see, because they're, they're pretzels, they're twisted, they're not straight. It's You like that one, Perry the Platypus? I've been saving it up. Oh, Perry the Platypus, I was hoping you would come. What, what, this? Yeah, I had to place myself in restraints. Oh, hello, Perry the Platypus. I'd like to introduce you to something. My slow motionator! This way, you're too slow to foil my evil scheme and I don't have to worry about capturing you. Problem solved. Anyway, let's get down to business. Perry the Platypus! I can't believe you're here! Wait, have you been following me? All the way from Earth? Keeping me safe like a fuzzy little teal guardian angel? Perry! Uh, a... uh, uh, curse you, and thank you, Perry the Platypus. Perry! Perry the Platypus, be a deer and help a brother out. I can't seem to... Oh, oh, I, I... Oh, oh, thanks. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not really hungry. No, 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 not the tiny vanilla cookies. How long have those been in there? <laughs> no, no, not that. Anything but the fake red licorice that tastes like that. Oh, oh, what possessed me to make such a horrifying anator? It always backfires on me. Perry the Platypus, you're back! I am never setting that puppy off again. Thanks for coming along, Perry the Platypus. You know, having you around just makes me feel, you know, safer. In this circumstance. Back home, it's exactly the opposite. Ah, you know, you, you really picked me up out of my doldrums. You know, fighting you makes me feel a little better. It's a, it's a good feeling. Like a comfy old sweater or something. Like an old friend. Yes. Uh, uh, evil. Thank you for the blanket, Perry the Platypus. Dad? Vanessa? Good morning, Agent P. We've received some disturbing calls from Doofenshmirtz. Okay, listen. I'm being evil, and I need Perry the Platypus to come over and stop me. Wait, wait. Did, did I hear a beep? Doofenshmirtz evil in court. Oh, Perry the Platypus, you caught me! I've been putting recyclable trash in the regular trash bin. I am so bad! You've taught me a valuable lesson. From now on, I'll be green. I'll be all the shades of green. They'll, they will call me El Verde and tell my tale in Greenland. Goodbye now, drive safe. And thanks for busting down my door, I deserved it. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to go on hiatus until your 15 minutes of fame are up. <gasps> The platypus, you're back! What a guy! Not so famous you can't stop by to trounce an old nemesis, are you, huh? All summer long we have the standing appointment. Suddenly Mr. Big Shot can't be troubled. Ah! Oh, 
I miss Perry the Platinum. <laughs> You know, it's not the same without Perry the Platypus. I can't believe he ditched me. One lousy award and he goes all diva. I love you, my darling. No, I love you much more than you love me. I hate you. <laughs> Sorry to bother you on your day off, Agent P. I love you. I thought you hated me. Well, that's done. And no comeuppance. Why do I feel so empty? I'm a failure. So, no ticket? I'm a failure. <laughs> Two bus tickets? Oh, Perry the Platypus, you're a mensch. I know I can be testy and unpleasant, and I know I tend to ramble on and on. To be fair, the, the burden of conversation is kind of all on me in our relationship. Uh, and I know that I haven't always given you the respect you deserve. Anyway, I, I want you to know that you are appreciated, Perry the Platypus. You are appreciated. Oh, hey now, check it out. Look, I see a tear. The universal secretion for sincerity. I'll just save that for next time. Come on, you can have a window seat. Hold it. No animals allowed. Tough break. Thanks for the ticket, though. Still, he, uh, he looks so sad and pathetic when the bus pulled away. Uh, my little nemesis is out there all alone. I, I can't believe it. Stop the bus. Stop the bus. Stop. Enjoying the shade, Perry the Platypus? It's your jetpack. I found it stuck in the mouth of a fiberglass dinosaur. I mean, how often does that happen when you really need it? Well, I'm aboard. Come on, come on. <laughs> doofy, 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 Perry the Platypus, we're running out of time. We're not going to make it. Are you trapping me? But we were getting along so... The turbo switch? Are you kidding? I, I can't control this thing at that speed. Oh, okay, Perry the Platypus. If you think so. Ha <laughs> <laughs> We got him good. And I couldn't have done it without you. <gasps> oh, I Perry the Platypus. See, I knew I'd need it later. Oh, there you are, Perry the Platypus. Oh, you... You saw that, huh? Yes, of course. You think I'm evil, right? Thank you, Perry the Platypus. Thank you. shirt. Ugh. Oh, well, man, once again, the place is trash. You just take off, leaving me here to clean it all up. Does it ever occur to you, Perry the Platypus, how much of a mess is left after one of our little tete-a-tetes? I bet you it never even occurred to you that I keep talking to you for a while after you're gone. I mean, it's probably a sad commentary in my life that I'm wearing an apron and talking to a platypus that's no longer... How long have you been standing there, Vanessa? Long enough, Dad. I have just made it illegal to thwart the tri-governor of the tri-state area, which, ipso facto, is me. Go ahead, read it. It's all perfectly legal. Looks like your thwarting days are over, Perry the Platypus. <sighs> you know, I really miss our good old thwarting days already. In fact, your presence here is making me far too sad and nostalgic, so maybe you better go. Just leave the way you came in. I'll bill you for the carpet. No, no, don't give me the puppy dog eyes. You're going to make me cry. Sheesh. Perry, what are you doing here? Problems with my dad, too? Well, 
I don't even need you anymore. Yeah, I I've got an even better best friend. He's a really good listener. He even put up with me going on about how great you were. Ha! It's clear to me now that my real best friend is Perry the Black. <laughs> uh, hello? Calling to my doom here! What? Oh, come on, Perry the Platypus. Oh, well, too bad for you. Too bad you don't believe in love. Too bad. You never meant to work with me, did you, Perry the Heartbreaker? Yes, go. Go back to your agency with their, their uncool acronyms. Just remember, we once had something special. You know, I think this doof-gooder thing is working out. Thank you, Agent P, from the entire tri-state area. We did do a good job, didn't we? Hey, what are you doing here, Francis? Oh, bad timing. Must be getting rusty. Wait a minute, Perry the Platypus. Are you working right now? But we were saving the city together, one good deed at a time. We were pals. We were... <sighs> Sorry, Doof. Regardless of your good intentions, your innators are doing what they always do, causing trouble and wreaking havoc. The only reason it's not worse is because Agent P has been there every step of the way, cleaning up your messes. Is... is that true, Perry the Platypus? I'll, uh, I'll see myself out. I thought... I thought you were my friend, Perry the Platypus, but you're not! You're, you're my babysitter! That's it, Perry the Platypus, we are through! I mean, I know we've had our rough patches before, and everyone does, but this time... You hurt me, Perry the Platypus! You hurt me! I think my best friend just used the memory scrambler and left me. Really? Well, I, I just found out mine was getting paid to hang out with me. Ooh, ouch. Right? Good job, D.O.G. And whoever you are. Oh, that's Perry the Platypus. Good Platypus, Perry the Platypus. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. No, no, I'm still mad at you. I take that back. Ah, well, if this isn't the spirit of adventure. Just two hat twins with no conflicts, rivalries, or mind games. Unlike a certain platypus I know, who shall remain nameless. But his name is Perry the Platypus. Oh, it's you, Milo's friends, who don't get paid to hang out with him, unlike a certain platypus who shall remain nameless. Perry the platypus. Um. Baby, we'll talk to D. Look, Perry sent you a card. Missing you. What about Perry? He was your adventure buddy, right? Yeah, was. Past tense. Ugh, middle-aged drama. Just... Call him, Dad. No, no, he's got to call me first. He sent you a card. He reached out first. No, he he needs to call. Like, physically call from, like, a landline. Whatever. You know he doesn't talk, right? Look, before you say anything, Perry the Platypus, I just want to say this going good thing has been really hard for me, and I needed to know that you were in my corner. And then when I saw it, that you were just getting paid to babysit me, I just, I just... Deposited to Professor Time Industries? You took that money and invested it to fund my path to becoming Professor Time? You did that for me? So it wasn't about the money. Right, of course. I mean, what does a platypus need with money anyway? You, you just live off the land like a vagabond moving from one platter place to another. I don't really know where you live. Ah, Perry the Platypus, how domestic of you to stop by. What, what do you think of my new digs? I mean, I know you've seen the place before, but look, I put up a new sign. Doofenshmirtz Good Incorporated, see? Doofenshmirtz Good Incorporated. I have no idea where that comes from. Hmm. Anyway, I'm serious about this good thing, and I'm so glad you're here. I want your feedback on something. You could be my sidekick. What do you say? Do good or doof? And his platypus partner in... Not, not crime, in, in, in some other thing. Some good thing. I'm sure there's plenty of good things that you and I and my innators can do together. Do good or do? I'm gonna go put on the costume. I don't know why it's chicken theme. That's just all they had at the store. Up, up, pick up, pick up. Oh, why won't you pick up? Oh, hi, Perry the Platypus. Thank you for using the key I gave you. It's much more civilized than crashing through my ceiling, don't you think? I am loving!
doing this? We're all like partners now, like, like Jack and Jill or Alice in Wonderland. I believe you've met my partner. When I have a dumb idea, I expect my partner to call me on it and steer me towards something less self-destructive. Whoa, whoa, hold on there, buddy. A partner is supposed to fly through the window and hit you with his tail. At least, that's what Perry the Platypus did. Perry the Platypus? I mean, I wasn't crying. And what are you doing here, anyway? What, destroying my dull and boring innator once wasn't enough for you? Wait, wait, what are you... You're fixing it? You are fixing it. Oh, you've had a change of heart. How wonderful. Go ahead, rebuild it, Perry the Platypus. Of course, you're, you're doing it all wrong. If you put it together that way, it will be the reverse of a dull and boring innator. It would be a dynamic innator, which would make people more interested. <gasps> oh, I get it. We shoot me with the dynamic innator, and I become more interesting. And everyone else becomes duller by comparison. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm so glad I thought of it. Let's build it. Come on, let's go. We make a great team, don't we? I think we make a great team. Do you think we make a great team? Yeah, you do. I can tell. Yes! The Dynamicinator is finished, and I couldn't have done it without you, new partner. Now, if you'd be kind enough to point it in my face and blast me, I'll be the most fascinating and charming person in the tri-state area. And then maybe we'll go to a movie or something. What do you mean, no? Hand me the remote. Oh, Perry the Platypus, look at us. We're fighting over the remote like an old married couple. <laughs> it's not cute. Hmm. Would, would you mind switching robots with me? Would you mind too terribly? Please? Thanks. Thank you very much. I just prefer this one. Thanks. Please, I'll do anything. Oh, for the love of great Caesar's ghost, what would you have me do? <laughs> Say, as long as you're here, why don't you stay and keep me company? Please, it's so boring. Pay the platypus in a sheet. Well, that's perfect. Wait, wait, I was hoping you... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I'm being sincere. There's no trap, no innate, or just come over here. You gotta see this. It was delivered today. I had to sign for it and everything. The trip to the desert, innate. It's going to send you to the desert and I can get on with my day. And don't bother running because I've installed a Perry track innate. It's going to follow you no matter where you go. Oh, great. Now I'm in the middle of nowhere. Wait, wait, wait don't leave me here. Bury the platypus, please. It's important to me. You gotta help me over protect my daughter. Please, please, please. Oh, great. I know just what you can do. Come on, Perry the Platypus. Maybe there's still time for a scheme today, you know? I, I won't even trap you. You can just start beating me up right away. Uh, you know, I try to be a good parent, but sometimes it's... Vanessa! I know we usually go about our daily battle of good versus evil, but instead, could you maybe help me set up the party for my little girl? Please? Crying out loud, Norm. Listen, here's a buck. Why don't you go get out of here and get a haircut or something? Out I go. Uh, Norm, take the dollar. Leave the platypus. And when you come back, use the door. He gets that from you, you know. You know, Norm, it occurs to me that though I've never had a son, there is someone I can always count on to be there. Someone I've begun to think of as family. Yes? And that someone is Perry the Platypus. See you around, junk pile. But the cannon place was going out of business, so I got them at a volume discount. Hang on. And look, there's a little treasure map with clues. Want to help me? Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Take off your secret agent hat just for tonight and put on your adventure hat. <laughs> That's my guy, Treasure Hall! This is gonna be fun. Hey, the platypus, is it Thursday already? Hmm. Well, let me go get my shoes and my ball and then... Wait, where's your stuff? Huh? So just let me get this thing charged up and we'll be on our way. Ready? Pretty energized. I want to do something exciting and fun and, and also incredibly stupid. Come on, Perry the Platypus. Let's go have an adventure. We can sail around the world in this thing. We can, we can visit exotic ports, fight pirates. We'd be like a couple of seafaring hunk fins in the ocean. We'd be a... 
<laughs> or maybe we could wrestle alligators. No, wait, even better. Sports car! <laughs> I think the turbo kicks in when it wraps up. Oh, oh. Uh, it's okay, we're fine. But we do seem to have picked up a passenger. You know what would be really impulsive? If you and me went out and did a little evil. Just the two of us. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just go hit on the cute jump instructor instead. Okay, party's over, Perry the Blouse. Oh, 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 man, wait. Ah! Uh, not to be high maintenance or anything, but do you mind? We could fight a little quieter. Uh, the girls are watching a movie, and I don't want to dis... I didn't mean you had to walk away. I mean, we can continue to fight. It's just a... <laughs> a pillow fight. Perfect. It's violent and quiet. It is on. <laughs> Uh, come on, do I get to land one or not? Can I take that as a no? No! Ow! <laughs> Talk about down in the mouth. Get it? It's, uh... Ah, uh, whatever. Meet my friends, Holly and Esther. Uh, yeah! Back on topic, baby! Whatever, the pasta, baby! Oh, yeah. I'm gonna sidewalk all over you, baby. <laughs> oh, for once, I'll actually be able to take over the Tri-State Theater, because I'll have, you know, the volume. Ciao, baby! Woo-hoo! Time to boogie, baby! Woo-woo! My hustle's out of muscle, but I can still shake my brick house, or whatever the kids are calling it these days. Fine! Point it wherever you want, baby! I'll be there! Ha! Daddy the Platypus! I didn't do anything wrong today. I just built an innator to pick up my daughter. But hey, as long as you're here, why don't you join me for my evil exercise show? I've got a spare head, man! Dance, baby, dance, baby, hands in the air. Go down to the store and buy a wicker chair. Sweat, baby, sweat, baby, wave your feet. Throw off your shoes and dance to the beat. Just dance, baby. Dance, baby. Wave your arms in the air. Baby, soak your hat, ring it out, take it to the laundromat. Dance, baby, dance, baby, wave your feet. Throw off your shoes and dance to the beat. Just dance, baby. Dance, baby. Dance, baby, dance, baby, shake your hips. Go down to the pier and get some fish and chips. Groove, baby, groove, baby, motivate your limbs. Never eat a cactus if you're out of practice. You think I'd be victorious just every now and then I've had a whole lot of schemes and a lot of innovators But I failed over, over and over, over and over and over and over and over again Oh, but it was fun, though We got treehouse robots, honey, Bigfoot and a mummy Got the nowhere to go, nothing to see Except sand and sand and sand in you and me the world's biggest bomb! Fly! <laughs> <laughs> That's queens of the double dutch We skip better than you by that much Watch our feet, our moves are sweet Our double ah. dutch and won't be beat Hey, Tau Chao, Spring and I'm telling you now that it's gonna be twice as good as any People lie about their mileage They lie about the weather Swing from the cherry tree And in the sunshine But I'm not gonna go there, you know I well, I'll tell ya! Back in Game of Stop! I always had to keep it real! The Platypinator! <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? The time is now, they're gonna do their dance! No room for negotiation! One's got a hat, neither has pants, but there feels no further explanation! Hi. <laughs> Who's up for charades? Eddie the Platypus, what are you doing down here? Dad? Oh, hi, Vanessa. Dad, what are you doing? 
Well, I'll be honest, I don't really understand, but I fell down this hill. Now I got glue on my hands and I got records on my fingers. What? Records on my fingers, I got records on my fingers and I just can't stop. Don't stop. I can't stop, I got a platypus controlling me. What? I got a platypus controlling me. Now let me sum it up. It was a strange set of circumstances. Strange set of circumstances. I come down the hill, I got glue on my hands. Now I got records on my fingers and I just can't stop. Don't stop, don't stop. Well, I would if I was able. There's a platypus controlling me. He's underneath the table. And yeah, we all got a platypus controlling me. Just me. We all got a platypus controlling us. I stopped if I was able. We all got a platypus controlling us. I'm not speaking metaphorically. The platypus controlling me is underneath the table. Wait. Oh, wait, no, he's gone. Hey. There's no platypus controlling me. There's no platypus controlling me. We've got blueprints. Glorious blueprints. They give us endless potentialities. We could build an android porcupine, bionic cards for Valentine's, or giant dogs with artificial fleas. They make the things we dream reality. Oh, we've got one prince, two prince, not a thing we can do. Five prince, six prince, two by four, cause we got blueprints galore. <laughs> Something tells me that you might have seen this month's Evil Beat magazine, eh? Wait, 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 wait. Look, look, it's like there's two of me. You see? Hmm? Huh? I suppose you're wondering how I harness the power of dance. <laughs> to add insult to injury, the platypus is leading. Did you know about this? You did! You knew about this and you still punched and kicked and pinched me! Yeah, I guess you're right. That's, that is what we do. Aw, ah! oh, thank you, Perry the Platypus. Ah! Happy New Year! Cause you know it's a new year, it's a brand new beginning of the 360 He's a semi-aquatic Okay, HMP, I've got the surveillance tapes from earlier today. I'll fast forward. Let's just take a break. Sit back and take inventory. We've done so many wondrous things and there's still so much to do. But I make the most of every day whenever I'm with you. Was a, that was the theme song takeover. Do Fluffs is enemy. <laughs> hey! Thank you, Perry the Platypus, for saving me. Aww. Oh, calm down. We're just BFFs. 
best foes forever. This has been How Not to Draw Dr. Doof. You'll be my friend for the disco dance? I guess I had a best friend this whole time. One that constantly thwarts my ego plans, but beggars can't be choosers. Let's get funky! Wait, is that Perry? Nah, couldn't be. That platypus is wearing a hat. Right? I just want to say that's not my experience with platypus. <laughs> what do you do have? What, what's happened to you? I have a platypus who's a nemesis, and he's got steely blue determination in his eyes, and he's spelt, and he, he moves rather fast when he wants to hit me with his uh, beaver tail. That's so weird. My pet platypus, Perry, has never once shown any of those qualities you described. It's been a few weeks since we lost Perry. Uh, yes, and we're both very concerned for his well-being. Panicked and nerve-wracking couple of weeks. Has it really been a I panic and nerve-wracking few weeks for I, Dr. Doofenshmirtz over here? Panicked and nerve-wracked, but for other reasons. I Believe like it or not, he has a symbiotic relationship. Okay. With Barry. Uh, they, check. Do, uh, they do rely on each other. Yeah, I feel like you would be it's, you're it's relieved. It's relieved. It's hate, hate, hate relationship. <laughs> now, do you think after you and Perry finish all your battles and whatnot that you'll actually be friends afterwards? You know, to be real honest, he's probably my best friend. I know that's sad, but you know, I don't have a lot to choose from. It's him or Norm. <laughs> and Norm's not really got a soul, being a computerized voice and all. We have sort of a yin and yang relationship that without him, I would not really know what to do with myself. So he's sort of like my best friend. We just yeah. like to beat each other up. What about a friendship with Agent Platypus? Well, I, you know, we, we have sort of a complicated relationship. I wouldn't call it a friendship per se, but uh, he is the yin to my yang. <laughs> However you want to take that. Better best friend. Uh, see, now look at here, this, you're still here. going on. What are well, you talking about You know about what I'm now? talking about? I'm talking about Perry the Platypus here, I'll be honest. Perry the Platypus and I, you know, he's my yin to my yang. He completes me. We we fight a lot, but he's, uh, you know... I, I don't want to interrupt, but you're falling to your doom here. I'm, you know, he's going to save me. That's what he does. So anytime anything goes wrong, he blames it on Perry because he's, you know, he's he's the yin to, the, the yin to his yang. Um, could Perry Platypus get a love interest? No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think you know your characters better than me? <laughs> My artistic integrity and I are out! Perry the Platypus is married to his job. <laughs> I just, uh... I was, I'm so interested in the development of the Perry and Doofenshmirtz relationship because I think it's one of the most dynamic relationships I ever saw on TV and just how, you know, it's like fighting each other was a job and now off the job they were just friends. So I just was wondering over the course of the series how that developed. Well, that, that became very interesting to us uh, early on that, that, that these guys see each other all the time. They're, they're really the most important characters to each other. You know, they're, they're the most important person in each other's life because it's the people that they see every single day and it became this sort of frenemies relationship. Monsters! Hold my hand, Barry the Platypus! Okay, now that's just ridiculous. Does every dimension we visit have to have something that's trying to eat us? No problem, Candace. Perry, Ferb, and I will bust these ghosts. Dimensionator is talking! Come on, let's go! Oh, Perry the Platypus, come back! Please! I miss you! Did I say that out loud or did I just think it? Doofish words, evil TikTok! I think I'm really glad you came! What's your name, man? Perry the Platypus. His name is Perry the Platypus. I mean, I have seen a lot in my life, but I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. Always one of them gotta be ugly. Perry!
Mary. Oh man, I just, I just got in such a funk. And this particular short is going to be a favorite with a specific subset of the Phineas fandom. Enjoy. And, uh, and that's about it. So, I'll do, I'll, hold on, I've just got the... Yes, hello, I see you. Oh, okay. I'll, Perry the Platypus is here and he's got a box of chocolates. So, I'm going to go and eat those. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Stay evil. It's a chair, but it's growing curly hair And your sister's unaware that she's floating in the air You're living in a fun house, baby You're living in a fun house, don't mean baby A million doors in the hall, and the table's on the wall And the bathtub is your bed, and a floating baby head You're living in a fun house, Lawrence So you better get some optical illusion insurance The floors are steep, you'll never sleep Your mother calls through the rubble walls Lift it up a feather that way to tumble Subject that Peruvian llama wearing my pajamas, and I know that I'm just living in.